welcome to the second part of the set analysis so in this uh, we we'll just quickly recap uh, if you are very new i would suggest that you go to the see my previous video if you are just you know you have a little idea so you can for the, your recap so we have seen that how set analysis can be used what we have seen so far is that the index syntax of the set analysis how we can make the syntax so we have this curly bracket and less than greater than sign then we how we can apply conditions single condition then we apply multiple conditions or multiple values uh, we can have more values as you know just like this then we see then we have seen that how we can use search maskings and we have seen how we can use set analysis builder from here as well just using this set expression we can just put over here whatever conditions we have in addition to the previous condition so we can just do that uh, we can have you know uh, this search string or static strings as well wildcard match as well we can put that and we have also seen that whenever we have a particular column within or field uh, field uh, in set analysis which is used the um, it ignores its selections so when we have for example if we use category name so the category name will be ignored whenever we are trying to uh, select our category so it can be used to you know if you want someone wants okay i do not want to impact my kpa based on certain selections for example most of the time it happens is that um, we do not want to have an impact of an selection on a uh, impact of an year selection or a month selection on a certain analysis uh, on an kpa that is ytd or for the last year month to date we do not want to get impacted uh, by any selections that we are doing so these kind of a kpa we want to have certain um, uh, selection criteria uh, bypass so you can just do that over here another thing that we can do is instead of you know writing this all this expression and using the settle as we can also use the bookmark for example here i have this bookmark and for example rather i will just use it temporarily so instead of this one i just have this one and i want to use the bookmark if i just click over here you see it has automatically put this was my bookmark baby cloth quantity two or three market americas so if i go to my bookmark sheet and if i see this my, my bookmark oops yeah i have just applied it it's fine so you see this was my bookmark and it automatically used that okay why well, see why this is not showing up what's the issue oh okay so let's just comment it here we go okay so the next thing would be you know the most important trick that is using a variable in set analysis a variable is a very good way you know to handle a lot of things in click one of my favorite it comes handy every you know when you are stuck variable will be there to save you some way or the, one way or the other okay so let's in order to use the variable how we can use the variable so before i you know say that what what we can do is we can rather than having this particular thing we can have it variable mean dynamic we can have this thing dynamically called and you know for example even markets you want to call it dynamically so okay let's at the moment it might not make sense you know you can just select it while use dynamically but just get used to it and then you will see there are there will be a lot of use cases for that okay so here we have i just want to you know rather than using the category name over here i want to use it dynamically so let's go over here and create a new let's call it v category and there let's put a hard code value as baby plots 
Here we go. Okay. Now, instead of you know putting the baby cloth cloths, we are going to use the variable. So variable is V category. I'm just putting it outside. This one. Okay. So what I can do is I can just write the variable V category over here. But when you are putting the variable for the set analysis, you have to put otherwise it's going to assume that it's some field or something else. For variable we always put this dollar sign expansion we call. You see if you see it has automatically picked it up. And uh, if I click on apply, you know, here you go. But there is another thing that if you want to put this uh, columns or oh, sorry uh, this uh, commas so you can just you know have this quotes as well oops let me see what happens what is the issue oops i have to put double quotes because i am using Okay, let's get away without it. Yeah, here you go. So, this is a very nice way to use it. But, you know, what will be the impact that, you know, we have hard-coded with just taken from one place to another. From one hard-coded place to another. So, what we can do is, we can, you know, using clicks, input box value, Let's, we have this dashboard bundle over here and we have a variable input. And let's make it, make it more dynamic. And the variable that we want to use is category and it's an input box. Okay, the default value is at the moment, it's baby cloth. So, you see we have put single quotes already here so that was the, also the reason that uh, this variable wasn't no, was not working so what if for the time being just remove this one single quotes yeah so it is not working anymore now let's change the you know in the most of the times you will not get the single quotes automatically so it would be better to use it without it you know how it goes so here i go i have it here baby gloss so let's say i just put swimwear my sales chain automatically so sports wear my sales change automatically okay so you see now i am using it dynamically or you can just you know have various ways this is just one way to you know put the values over here we can have many other ways to do you know uh, get th this thing done so we can just have the drop down box and we can get the values some fixed values and the value could be you know just swimwear let's add other value sports and this could be you know this has more values so you, you might want to you know limit it on certain values for the end user he cannot see all the values so let's say we want to limit it so here we go oh we need to add labels otherwise it's baby clothes sp 
sports. The label could be anything. You don't need to be have exact, but these values has to be exact so that they can match. So swimwear. Okay, so let's add another value and see another problem, and let's try to solve that particular problem. So let's say I'm going to add women's clubs and let's put women's clothes in label as well okay so what if i changes here to women cloth you see the sales disappear so let's see the problem is that we are using single quote and whenever this kind of a thing happens the most appropriate thing would be you know just go back to the basics rather than using it dynamically in this expression let's try to hard code it and see that you know exactly what's happening okay and if you see it's going you some clue over here as well so let's say if i just put women's clause over here so it kind of says it all you know it is there the expression is not right actually it's not being evaluated rightly so in this kind of a scenario what we can so if we have you know a chance that there is a apostrophe will be appearing over here as well uh, then we can you know use double quotes over here so normally be careful when you are putting a value just be careful that whatever value will be you will be getting it should not have a uh, double quote or you know uh, uh, single quotes or you need to be aware of it and then handle it accordingly the better way would be you know if, for example if there is a value you cannot get away with that you might uh, use considering an alternate value without apostrophe you capitally in the script create a replica of the exact front end and uh, the same replica same value without uh, apostrophe or something so that you can do so here we go and now we can get back to our same v category you know, the good thing is that you get to know over here that your expression is right or not where you write a variable so it's actually evaluate that value and see that exactly what value you're getting So this is for you know we're talking about the and condition uh, uh, set analysis. So let's try to read this particular thing again. So it's what is saying that the category is this and quantity is two or three and the market is Americas. What if if I wanted to club the sale? Let's just you know make another expression in this one. So at the moment, I am just, you know, applying multiple filters. What if I want to, you know, add this category sale, which I have selected or the market is America, both. So I just want to add America sales plus this category sales. So if I have the complete sale without any set analysis so this is america's sale which is 7.75 million okay and then let's say the baby cloths this is 1.6 million so i want to add 7 million plus 1.75 but there will be issue that there is an overlapping sale if we add both of them so this is an overlapping sale. This will be added twice. So I might need to subtract it as well. So the one way would be to write like this. America sale. Okay. So America sales minus, sorry, plus baby sale 
baby cloth cell minus both their combination or what we can do is we can use the basic set concept so we can have the union of them so in order to do the union in click so what we do is let me just remove this one so here I have this so what it's doing it's saying category sale when category is equal to this or so this is putting an or essentially two separate conditions combined by a plus sign it's essentially union or you know in the set analysis um, in condition terms it's called or so if I just apply it so I have the both those sales either it is for Americas or it for the baby cloths or for the time being it's women cloth let's just go for the baby cloths so here we are we have them for the baby cloths and you remember that it was 1.1 million plus 7.7 .7 million so it was around 9 million and minus subtracting 6 0.6 million so it's this figure set 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 okay so this is one of the important one the one point because a lot of times you want to add multiple values multiple values you want to add so this is the second component part uh, I will come up with the third part but in order to understand that you will have to master these two first so I will come up with another video with the third point. See you then.